Well, I know I'm new to YouTube, but I didn't think I'd be making this mistake. I turned this nice piece, totally forgot to hit record. But, I did record this. It's about a seven inch bowl made out of dark cherry. start off with a small blank of dark cherry and I usually put a small hole in the center that uh, it's where my worm wood drive attaches to but it also helps me for depth as you can see it's pretty out of round so I'll use my easy rougher to kind of uh, uh, face it and also true it up on the sides Lesson here, don't put your camera on the table while you're turning. And here we go, got a tenon cut in and everything looks pretty good. A little bit of tear out, but not a big deal. All right, at this point I'll start putting in the side profile. I'm not really sure if it shows up how dry this wood was. Um, got a bunch of wood from someone and they were uh, kind of, I guess, reclaimed lumber. I like the idea of using reclaimed lumber. The problem is it's really hard uh, to turn in, in a lot of cases. One of the things that I've turned a couple weeks ago uh, was a big piece of walnut from a barn in Pennsylvania that was over like 100 years old. And I think I had to resharpen my tool about three times. All right, so I have the side profile the way that I want it. And now I'm getting ready to turn it around and start working on the inside. One of the tricks I like doing is to take a um, like a beading tool and carve in a little bit this helps me from if I accidentally skate the tool over it kind of gives me a good defined edge I guess so I'm a pretty big fan of this easy rougher uh, I have a square and a round one and it really helps me remove like a bulk of wood. It's just a little dull. I need to get a new carbide tip for it. So I'm going back to my Packard, uh, I think it's a half inch bowl gouge. This one has more of a standard grind on it. Um, definitely removes a lot of wood, but I'm just not good at using it yet. Uh, do like scrapers though. All right, I'm just checking for depth. And it's not as deep as I want it. Uh, so I'm gonna go back in there. Um, also love this tool for making little bull nose edges. I'm 
to the part I love the most. Turning wood is so therapeutic, but it's something about sanding that just really just gets you kind of in like a zen type mood. I love the strips too from Rockler. I like how they just go from a, you know a high low grit to a high grit, and it's all contained in one box. So I don't have to tear up paper. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. When I first started, I would sand really high speed, and then I learned a good tip from Carl Jacobson about turning uh, the speed low so you don't burn up the paper. And sometimes hand sanding, um, you know, any little blowout you have, really great pro tip. All right. I love using this Triple E. It uh, doesn't smell super great, but it puts a really nice finish on the wood. I usually do this and then apply a coat or two of the Friction Polish Shella Wax. One of these days, I want to give a sanding sealer a try and maybe shellac, but new wood term, I'm still learning, you know, what's food safe, what's not, what gives a good shine, and what doesn't. All right, here's some of the pictures of the finished product. Um, turned out about seven inches, that's uh, about three inches deep. And um, learned a lot from it. There, there was a few mistakes that I didn't put in there, but you know, that's learning. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys click the subscribe button. Have a great day.